guys, it is Grace Field, and in my last video, I did a flip through of two of the Homeschool Life Press planners, and I decided that for this year, I am going to use this one, which is the dated one. She opens up her mouth with wisdom and the teachings of kindness is on her tongues from Proverbs 31 and 26. So I'm inviting you today to come and let's chat. Okay, Christy, what do I need? So let's go ahead and talk about your supply list. So if you have your year to glance calendar, um, if you have two highlighters we're going to use one for vacation days and one for the first and last day of homeschool and some pens that's it we're making this very simple very sweet so at this point hopefully you have your um, supply list and hopefully you have your drinks and your snacks and we can roll with it first thing that you want to do is start marking off any holidays birthdays anniversaries vacations any days that you want to take off basically if you are homeschooling um on three weeks off one, you wanna mark that. If you are homeschooling um, four days on, one day off, you wanna mark the off day. So any days that you're taking a week or a month or a day, you just wanna mark that so that you know that that is a day off and not to count that day. Okay, so some people like to have their day, their school year start at a certain time or end at a certain time. And if are that kind of person then you can either count up or count backwards what does that mean Christy count up or backwards so if you want your homeschool to start for example on August the 23rd then we're gonna count 36 weeks from August the 23rd and that'll tell us about when you should stop and then that's why I said to you that we're going to highlight um, the vacation days on um, the days that you anticipate taking off because those days do not count. So you probably need to add a couple of more weeks either to the beginning or the end. And if you know you wanna start on the 23rd, then we're adding it to the end so that you can get your days. I advise you to look up your homeschool regulations for your specific state. I will say, however, though, the general rule of thumb is 180 days, 36 weeks. So we're gonna plan for 36 weeks in this video. So for me, I would like to end the school year by June. That to me is good. I want my children to have some summer, um, but not too much of a summer because then they'll, yeah, we already know. Personally, I went back and forth. Do I want a four day week where I am taking off Monday or Friday? Um, Friday so that I can prepare for the weekend, um, farmer's market, Sabbath, all those things, Monday so I can rest from the weekend. Um, and or did I want to do six weeks on and one week off? But in the end, I decided that I like the idea of a four day week. We go hard for four days and then on the fifth day, we do hands on, we do crafts, we do baking, um, life skills, things like that. And if we didn't get done to all of our work, then we can go ahead and make it up that away. So that is what I anticipate doing this year. Okay. I like pink. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I am going to use this highlighter and I am going to come through and I am going to go ahead and highlight birthdays, holidays. I already said I'm going to do a four day on, one day off. So I'm going to highlight all the days off and that way I can see and have the visual of when we will be schooling and when we won't. Okay. So my birthday was the first, but it's already passed. We don't have any more birthdays for August. Um, Kalani's birthday is September the 21st, and since she's turning five, we definitely want to celebrate that. We don't have any birthdays for October, November, but we do have two in December. In December, we have one guy's birthday that's on the 3rd, and we have a birthday that's on the 21st. So Manny's birthday is on the 3rd, my husband's birthday is on the 21st. We don't have any birthdays in January, February, or March, but in April, we have two birthdays. Eli's birthday and Aaron's birthday. So Aaron's birthday is on the 9th and um, Eli's birthday is on the 28th. And then we don't have any more birthdays for May, June, July. And then by the time my birthday comes back around, we'll be in another planner. <laughs> so that is it for birthdays. Now I know that, um, and I need to get a different color highlighter. I know that I want to start school um, 
August the 24th. But because I want to start school on the 24th, we are going to do a soft entry starting the 17th. And what that does is it just gives enough time to gradually ease into everything that it is that we have to do. And the last thing that I'm going to do now is go through with this. And I am just going to highlight all of the Fridays. So starting with the 17th. So we have the 20th and the 27th. And then we're just going to go like this. I think that this will be better. Sorry, I don't have a tripod. So I am holding. I keep seeing I'm going to get one. I haven't got it yet. But don't worry. I will be getting it soon. How cool was it that those two birthdays fall on Fridays anyway? And then this is um, January. And this is February. And this is March. And then we have April. And then we have May. We have June. And we'll probably be finished up by June. But I'll just go ahead and do July just in case. Here is how I look so far. Okay. So now we are simply going to just start counting the days. I also want to mention that I want us to do a 12 week on and one week off. And the reason why I'm saying this is so on that one week, I can reset um, the classroom if I want to do any changes, if I want to have time to redo any units, um, if we need to make anything up, which we should not. And last but not least, um, like so that I can print and just get prepared, make sure I have all the supplies, etc., for the upcoming um, 12 weeks. Okay, so since I want to do 12 weeks on and one week off, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this weekend of the 15th be the week off. And then we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So then this is going to be our next week off. So term two. And then one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that should put us right here around May. I probably should double check that my math was right there. <laughs> and then from this point, it won't even matter because it's just June and July. So then we'll be off. Notice I did not take off um, any holidays at this point or vacations. So let's just say I have a one week holiday and a one week vacation. Let's start to count our weeks. And it's not a complete week because it's, well, even though it's a four day week, I'm still going to count as a five day because of what we're doing on the fifth day. For completion's sake, I am just going to mark off right here that June the 30th will be our last day of school and that um, August the 17th will be our first day of school. Basically, I have my 36 weeks plus. Okay, guys. So I really hope that this video was very helpful. Hopefully, I did a thorough job explaining um, how to set up your homeschool year. Um, just simply setting up the year, setting up your schedule, knowing what days I'm schooling, what days I am off, when I'm having my breaks and so forth. And then from there, you can continue to build as far as, okay, my book has 36 lessons. I need to do one lesson per week. And so um, I am good to go if I'm staying on track doing one lesson a week, but because I do have that extra week built in there and because I do have those Fridays in there, even if I get off track, I can really just pick up and get back on track, but also know in advance 
when I can schedule dentist appointments, doctor's appointments, all these things because I have the time built in there. So I'm not being um, caught off guard and by surprise and, oh, we had a last minute this or that. And I have all the days and all the buffers and things built in. So hopefully this video helped you see how easy it can be, although it seems difficult um, for you to set up your homeschool year. And if you come back um, to my next video, I'll share actually me planning maybe my first or second week of homeschooling so that you can see further what it looks like. Maybe what we'll do actually is set up the actual planner to use. Just stay tuned, all right? If video was helpful, if it was useful to you, if it was an encouragement, if it just made this process easier for you or just seeing someone walk it through inspires you in the least bit, would you do me a favor? Would you go ahead and give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment? I would greatly appreciate it and it would mean so much for my channel. If you're not already a member of my YouTube family, I'd love to welcome you to come <laughs> and subscribe and be a part of it. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video and until then, blessings.